Hey, what's up everyone? Piston2x here, and today I'm going to be doing the spin-off to the Call of Duty's finest maps, which will be on the top 10 worst maps in Call of Duty history. It will be coming out on the top 10 worst maps to ever appear in Call of Duty, dating back to Call of Duty 4. So today we're going to be counting down the top 10 through 7 worst maps of all time in Call of Duty history. Now remember, it's impossible for everyone to agree on this list, but it was largely made up by your guys' hundreds of comments. So if you want to vote for the next top 10 list, which will be on the top 10 best guns in Call of Duty, be sure to subscribe so you can vote on that video that I specifically upload for you guys to vote. Alright, so coming in at number 10 is the Modern Warfare 2 map Estate. Now Estate wasn't really one of my least favorite maps, but it was not really a map that I liked either. The reason this map is hated so much is because of how unbalanced it was. When, I mean, whatever team controlled the giant estate controlled the game pretty much, so the map was just a big camp fest most of the time, and the team that spawned at the estate in the beginning of the game automatically had the upper hand. There were also many places of the map that were never used and served no purpose except for maybe boosters to hide in free for all. And also another unbalanced, inexcusable problem with this map is that every game the team spawning at the bottom would get sniped trying to run out of their spawn to the right. Although I did find a way that you can avoid this most of the time, the map should not be set up where one team can easily snipe the other team and have a clear advantage right out of the gate. Overall, the unfairness of this map and the too much camping that takes place is what puts this at the number 10 worst map of all time in Call of Duty history. Coming in at number 9 is the Modern Warfare 3 map Outpost. Outpost is a boring snow map on a research outpost in Antarctica. The looks of the map are boring, the buildings have nothing special to them, and again there are too many parts of the map that are never used. The biggest problem with the map is the sniping bunker that all the snipers camp in and can get really annoying. There is also a narrow pathway leading into this bunker that attracts everyone to go to, which makes a lot of the battles on the rest of the map pretty boring, since all the action is always going on over that narrow pathway. Now there really is no point in trying to fight over this pathway, as there's constantly just grenade launchers being shot and frags being thrown back and forth. I mean overall there's nothing that anyone can enjoy about this map unless you want to camp in that bunker, you know the whole game with the sniper. If you try and flank there seems to be always someone camping in a corner waiting for you, so this isn't a great map for rushers either. Again, the look of this gloomy, boring, and poorly designed map outpost is what makes it come in at number 9 worst map of all time in Call of Duty history. So coming in at number 8 is the Modern Warfare 2 map Underpass. Although I didn't have much of a problem with this map, it is one that many people can't stand. This map is a rainy, depressing looking map, which is what I think really contributes to so many people not liking this map. The map is dominated by snipers, and there is a large building on the sea flag side of the map that some teams camp in the entire game, which obviously is going to make you really annoyed. An underpass can also be dominated by thermal snipers, which can get even more annoying. Now along with the building next to the sea flag, there are also many other camping spots in this map. This map did have a unique design, but unfortunately it is not one that many people like. And with all the long lines of sight and lack of cover, it can be hard for rushers to flank and get behind the enemy team's spawn, especially when an entire team is camping with claymores. The depressing rainy look and the easiness for teams to camp is what makes Underpass the number 8th worst map of all time in Call of Duty history. Alright, coming at number 7 is the Modern Warfare 2 map Rust. Rust was the tiny map in Modern Warfare 2, and the worst out of the extremely small maps that have been in each of the Call of Duties. Unlike Shipment, Dome, Nuketown, and Modern Warfare 3's Dome, this map had no fun qualities to it. And actually, I hated it so much that all I would do is camp on top of that high platform above the map with a blast shield and tactical insertion, and just sit there the whole game. Nicely, I didn't even care, I just hated this map so much. Um, you know, there was no unique design about this map, it was a tiny square with just a bunch of crap thrown in the middle. 
Part of the reason this map was so bad is that it was dominated by one-man army grenade launchers and all other kinds of explosives. With all the other really small maps that have been in the Call of Duty series, they were always voted for when they came up in the rotation, or in Call of Duty 4 and World at War's case, they were never voted against. But Rust was a map that was always voted against a lot of the time. Again, it's a boring looking map and the name Rust doesn't make that any more appealing. Overall, this garbage filled map in Modern Warfare 2 truly is a straight up garbage map as it comes in at the 7th worst map of all time in Call of Duty history. Well that's in this video guys, once again it is impossible for everyone to agree on this list. I've done the best job I can to make it an unbiased top 10 list, largely based off your guys' input. If you feel like your least favorite was not included, feel free to post what you think in the comments. I really hope you guys enjoyed it, and see ya!